Hey guys, it's Sagittarius Soltero. I'm going to go ahead and do uh, water signs and their weekly video for today, so the 15th to the 21st. In regards to love, I'm going to do past, present, and future in regards to love for all of, uh, water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, I'm going to have a time stamp down below in the description box so you guys can click on your sign so you don't have to watch the whole entire video. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do all kinds of fun stuff. I'm going to do like Zodiac cards, fortune cards, anything to do with love. I'm going to separate it by um, past, present, and future. Um, but yeah, it's going to be fun. Take what resonates. Don't um, get upset if it doesn't work out for you guys. Uh, make sure to watch for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, uh, as well as cross watch as well as you're dealing with a water sign. Alright, so I hope you all enjoy the reading. I'm going to go ahead and start with Cancer. I'm going to start at like 50 seconds here. Let me go ahead and just write it down so I have it um, time stamped here on my phone and then I'll put it in when I edit. Alright, so let's go ahead and do cancer. Alright, let's see the word that you guys like have been affecting you. Okay, so the word that's been affecting you like past, present, future is divine timing. Okay, everything in my life is divine timing. All is unfolding as it should with many exciting possibilities for tomorrow. So, I feel like throughout, like, your life, there has been a lot of divine timing, okay? Uh, a lot of things, you just had to kind of wait it out and see where, like, was meant to be, okay? So, see what happened in your love life in the past, Cancer. Okay, the heart chakra. So, I feel like you had your heart open a lot or open to somebody here in the past, okay? Let's go ahead and get the, future, the fortune cards here. So I feel like you did have your heart um, your heart chakra open. Okay, you were maybe in love with somebody here. Had a lot of love for somebody. All right, flowers. Okay, so be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. You had a lot of like emotional fulfillment here with somebody in the past. Surrender to the divine, okay? Maybe like a lot of surrendering to this person. Okay, you were very loyal to this person. They became your person. But there was deception, okay? So maybe somebody was not telling the truth in this connection. Or somebody was hiding some stuff. Calling in your soulmate. I feel like you kind of found out like this person wasn't very honest, okay? That made it maybe where you guys were separated, okay? And you felt like maybe... You gave too much of your heart to this person, and then you were deceived. All right, let's get three shuffles. But I feel like eventually, like, this person from your past wasn't really, like, your soulmate. And I feel like you are definitely going to call it in your soulmate. This person was just the person you were with that you had a lot of love for. But I don't really know if they were your soulmate, okay? Because there was a lot of, like, false stuff being said and done here. So I'm going to get one more shuffle. All right, so let's see what happened in the past. Okay, Ace of Swords reversed, Queen of Wands reversed, the Hermit. Okay, so there's a lot of, like, not any truth being spoken here. Um, it could have been, like, somebody feeling defeated, alright, as well as some, like, self-reflection, too. Wanting to know the right answers before doing something here. Alright, so why is Ace of Swords reversed for Cancer in the past? Alright, Eight of Swords reversed. I feel like you kind of know like that somebody's not telling the truth here you just want out of the situation okay you're sick of being lied to is what i'm seeing with the fool you want like a new adventure you want to take new people on be in a new situation I feel like you felt just defeated you felt like um maybe there wasn't any passion in this relationship anymore or this person wasn't passionate towards you anymore the queen of wands reverse we have the two of wands you had to make a choice what to do here but i feel like you wanted something new but the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it's like that's still, you were still having to deal with this person for some reason, okay? Even though they lied to you, it's like you wanted out of this, like, mental situation. You were, like, mentally trapped, okay? And it's like it still was kind of going on with this person. But you could have started to find somebody new and maybe having to choose between this person and the new person. With the Hermit, but it's like you had to get some, like, clarity and some answers before. Let's see with the Hermit. You got the Hermit again. So, yeah, you were maybe... Having to try to make sure you're making the right decision. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, because maybe you put a lot of time and effort into this person. So you're going to make sure, like, you're doing the right thing by leaving this person. Okay? Or going on to new ideas. Let's see. But I feel like you were deceived here. And, like, somebody wasn't telling the truth. You were maybe, like, lied to your whole relationship. They were just kind of a liar. Okay, right, or keeping stuff from you. So we have, will you be mine forever? Okay, so maybe this 
person also just kind of kept you around, making you feel like you had to be in their life, okay? Because you have to put a lot of time in to it. But you want to make sure you're making the right decision because you have choices to make. And I feel like you want something new. You don't want to deal with this anymore, but you're still having to. The Wheel of Fortune Reverse. You still have this person in your life. Let's see who could be current, like who you were dealing with in the past here. So we have Aquarius, Taurus, or Fire. Okay, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <coughs> and that could be who is affecting you here too. Okay, you could have been dealing with multiple people. I also have their sun sign. Definitely is Taurus. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aquarius, okay? And it could have been, like, when you first met this person, you were already involved with somebody else, or you still had a situation with another person, and it hasn't ended. But I feel like you are wanting to make this decision to go to something new here and maybe invest more time, but you want to make sure that you're doing the right thing, okay? And I feel like this person wants you to be theirs. They want to have commitment with you, but you still need to make sure you're making the right decision or you're choosing the right person, there could be stuff from your past that's been holding back this connection, okay? Now, let's see what is currently going on with you guys in love, okay? What's currently going on with my Cancers in love? So, we have Balance and Shadow. So, we have the Justice and the Lovers here. So, that's good, okay? Both air energy, though. But um, you guys are maybe starting to have this connection with a person that you have balance with. Or you guys are getting balance. Okay, you guys are feeling just very, like, drawn to this person. Okay. Ooh, got too many here. Could feel like a balance. Could, could feel like a twin flame as well. You guys just feel very, like you're on the same level, same page. Okay, we got moon. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. So maybe you've been dreaming about this person a lot, okay? Or just, like, trust in your intuition when it comes to this person. Bring love into the situation. New moon and Aquarius. Okay, so I feel like you do need to bring love into the situation. There is maybe a soulmate connection here, but divine timing has always been kind of a factor. Worth waiting for. I definitely feel like you, you and this person have been waiting. And there's trust. I feel like... You guys are starting to get this trust with each other, okay? Like, maybe, like, now is the right time to start kind of focusing on this, okay? But you guys had to wait a little bit to deal with this situation because of maybe somebody else in your past. But I feel like there's some trust here. Or you trust, like, your intuition about this person with the moon, too. Let's get one more shuffle. What's currently going on with Cancer in love with this person? Knight of Swords, a lot of conversation okay impulsive talking to this person impulsive conversation but you're trapped in your head because you have this passion with this person but you're not sure if this person is going to be in and out of your life or they could be kind of in that direction they could be a person that you see them every now and then and they're not very maybe they try to talk to you and they're kind of i feel like somehow you're stuck in your head about this person like you're not sure maybe if they have good intentions okay but i feel like they could be very, like, talkative, like, wanting to communicate, but then also be kind of in and out of your life as well. So why is the Knight of Swords here? Ace of Wands. I feel like they do, you were this person, you guys want to bring this passionate start, something new here passionately. With the Two of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like there's not any juggling going on anymore. I feel like that's why you're in your head, you kind of know what you want with this person. But you want to make sure that they are serious about you. I feel like you stress about this person a lot, Okay. All right, the five of wands are first. You don't want any more conflicts or you don't want other people involved in your situation with this person. Six of swords reverse. I feel like you don't want to walk away either, okay? But you're trapped in your head. You're wondering, like, if this person's actually, like, the one for you. If this is actually someone that's going to be staying in your life. Knight of wands. We have the knight of swords in reverse. I feel like you did think about them a lot, stressing and having anxiety, but you're trying to get the right answers. Okay, the two of wands reverse. Okay, I feel like you are sure that this is a person that you want to be with. Okay, could definitely be a fire sign here because I got a lot of fire. Okay, Cancer, let's see. But I feel like you already made your decision about this person, but you've just been in your head about them for a while. Okay, maybe you used to stress and have anxiety about them too. All right, I wish that things could have been different. All right. <coughs> let's go ahead and see what sign you could be dealing with here currently. 
But I feel like you already made up your mind. You don't want to walk away from this person. Okay, you already know kind of what you want here. So I have their moon sign. So their moon could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, or Taurus, Virgo, Cap... I can't talk. Okay, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn, or Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo could be their moon sign. I also got their sun could be any of these as well. But moon's the one that popped out. And then I have Leo on the other side here. So they definitely could have... Um, their moon sign and any of these signs here okay so that's what's currently going on I feel like you already made up your mind who you're wanting but you've been in your head about them for a while okay and you wish things could have been different because maybe there was a lot of hostility and drama in the past and you don't want that anymore let's see what is in the near future for you guys in love okay cancer what's in the near future for you in love And it's weird because Sagittarius got the same card, okay? Like, they had, um, like, hope is one of their cards, too. So, that's weird. So, you definitely could be dealing with the Sagittarius, okay? And they got the number 17 here. Okay, so, let's see what else is going on. But I feel like there's hope here impatience yeah in your near future and love you have patience slow down change your attitude and clear your mind so you are being patient and hopeful in a situation cancer the near future okay we have your dreams need a practical plan okay so maybe you need to have patience here because you have to think practical and logical about this person like how if you guys have this actual connection, how are, you know, you guys going to work together as a team for this, okay? Because you guys could be in different areas of your life, okay? You guys could be in different towns, different places. You guys have to think practical, and you, you need to kind of have hope, though, and patience as well, okay? Because you probably dreamed about this person a lot, dreaming about this future, but you need to make sure it's practical and it's actually going to happen, okay? But I have true love here, as well as keep an open mind on the bottom, all right? So there's definitely a lot of love for this person, okay? And this is like a true relationship. You guys just have to be more practical and make sure that everything's logical and makes sense before you just jump right in. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and get one more shuffle. So, we got the Four of Wands. Oh my gosh, guys. Four of Wands, Queen of Cups, Hairpin. I couldn't have asked for any more better cards for you guys, honestly. Because this is all, like, a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings, a lot of stableness, and even a marriage, eventually. Okay, so this person that you're, like, in the near future, this is looking good for you guys. And I feel like it was all divine timing, okay? It was a person that you had to, like, wait for. Okay, there's a lot of waiting and hoping. You guys had to be, you know just very positive in the situation you could have like let this person go okay because i feel now like since you haven't let this person go like you are going to have this stable happy family happy happy life and there's a lot of emotions for this person all right so why is four of wands here for cancer in the near future all right we got the knight of pentacles reverse there's not any more fast movement when it comes to an offer you guys have to, like slow down and work for this okay with the queen of cups so, yeah this there's a lot of emotions and love for this person so you have the queen of cups twice here so why is the queen of cups here again okay four of cups could have been a person that you once rejected okay or it seemed like it was a rejected person but there's a lot of love here because maybe like you guys were um there was a lot of, like, you guys always had to kind of defend yourself to this person because you were, like, um, rejecting their love offer because maybe you weren't ready. But now I feel like you are wanting this here, okay? And it could have been a lot of, like, rejection in the past with this person, but now in the future you guys aren't rejecting it. The hair fit, you got the Knight of Cups. Like, you are coming in with this love proposal, and it could even offer into a higher commitment or marriage. I see marriage twice here. Three of Pentacles. You guys are wanting to work on this. <coughs> this is looking really good. All right, let's see what cards. All right. All right, so I know that I'm very bad at expressing how I feel, which is definitely weird because, like I said, Sagittarius, I'm pretty sure Sagittarius had this card too from, like, either their um, current situation or their 
um, future, but that's weird, so you definitely could be doing the Sagittarius, because I'm getting the same cards for you guys that they got. Alright, so let's see who you guys could be dealing with in the near future. Whoever this person is, you guys are happy, that's for sure. Something good here. Alright, we got Aries. Another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Gemini, as well as Leo. Okay, and I also got their moon sign on the other side. Could be any of these as well. Alright, but whoever you're going to be with is going to be somebody making you happy, that's for sure, guys. All right, let's go ahead and do uh, Scorpio now. Let's go ahead and do Scorpio. Okay. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on. What word is important to you and your re guys' re love reading? What has importance to Scorpio? What word? Abundance. Okay. So I attract abundance into my life each day from all possibilities and directions. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of abundance or there was a lot of abundance for you. All right. Let's see. All right. We have financial and material changes. Okay. So there could be some stuff going. Could we do some changes here? And we have death. Okay. So we have a time for natural transition and transformation. So you, be, you could be going through a lot of changes, but it's going to have a lot of abundance into your life. Okay, so you're going through, or in the past, you've dealt with a lot of changes. Right. Be bold and make the first move. Okay, so it's like you need to make the first move. Or you did make the first move. I'm sorry, I keep talking like, like current. This is the past for Scorpio. All right, heart to heart conversation. You need you had a heart to heart conversation with a person here, okay? And I feel like it caused some transformation, some changes in your life. Let's get three shuffles. All right, let's see what happened in the past in love for Scorpio. Excuse me, guys. Seven of Swords, Six of Pen or Seven of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Something that was worth invested into. There was a balance here, but there's also a sense of having to defend yourself a lot too to this person. Could have been an Earth sign or a Fire sign that you were dealing with in the past, but there's a lot of just kind of not feeling like you could trust somebody. All right. All right. So let's see here. All right, why is the Seven of Wands here? Seven of Swords. Yeah, you always feel like you had to defend this person, that they're always, like, talking about you. The Knight of Cups, okay? Could have been definitely, like, they were coming in with a love offer, okay? Wanting to offer you something, but you just always felt, like, defensive about it. You, you didn't really know if you could trust this person, okay? <coughs> Six of Pentacles. I feel like there was kind of some balance, though, with this person. Four of Wands, there could have been stability and happiness with this person, but you still were kind of, like, feeling iffy about something. Knight of Wands reversed, okay? Um, they could have been not really coming in with a lot of passion for the connection. Maybe that was some of the issue as well. But there was time and effort and, like, motivation put into this here with the Eight of Pentacles. I see the moon, okay? So you could have been dreaming about this person a lot. Three of Swords reversed. And I feel like you are, like, letting go of anything that was hurt from the past or... Um, anything that caused any pain, I feel like you are moving on from it and still focusing on this connection. Okay. Let's see. I'm not worth it. Okay, is what I got. So whatever happened, like you feel like kind of maybe like you're doubting yourself, okay? Or somebody's doubting yourself in this connection in the past. Alright, let's see what sign you guys could have been dealing with. All right, so I have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth, as well as Pisces, and then I have Air on the bottom. Okay, so you guys definitely could have been dealing with the Pisces here because I do have the Moon card, and that's usually like um, like Cancer or Pisces. All right, but somebody feels like they're not worth it. I feel like you guys are having this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, and there is going to be some conversation being involved here. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's going on currently for you guys in love. Whoa. 
so we have balance okay so this is like the justice card as well as the sacral chakra so a lot of like desires here for this person in this balance okay so you have a lot of desires currently for this person and we have the chariot okay so it could be dealing with like cancer libra okay we have charge ahead with confidence stay strong and focused Okay, so I feel like there is going to be some good stuff coming your way. Fast movement. Okay, expect powerful change. Yeah, new moon eclipse. So there is going to be some powerful changes coming your way here currently. Attraction, okay? As well as deception. Now, there is somebody kind of not telling the truth here. <coughs> so make sure you watch out for that. Okay, there could be somebody kind of hiding their feelings too. It doesn't really have to be bad card. Because some people think that that card is a bad card, but... It doesn't always have to be bad. I feel like it's just somebody's kind of not telling them truly how they feel or afraid to. With the death here, okay? So some kind of ending currently. King of Wands, reverse. Knight of Pentacles, reverse. So I feel like there is something kind of coming, some transitions here, some kind of change. Somebody feels kind of defeated and like they're not really putting the work in anymore for a situation currently, okay? Or they're just not really coming in to put work in. Okay, Eight of Pentacles, of Death, they want to invest into something, but there's changes being made. Okay, the Two of Cups, Reverse, maybe putting more time into their self and having like an end to a connection here, okay? So there could be like an end to a connection. They're putting more time and effort into their self. King of Wands, the Fool, so Aries, okay? So you could have been dealing like feeling defeated with yourself because you want new changes, new opportunities with the Queen of Cups, but you still have emotions for something here, okay? Or there's still emotions being addressed. Knight of Pentacles, reverse. I feel like something's not really coming in as for an offer. Could have been because you're still dealing with something from your past, or it's why you're not really coming in with any new offers to yourself. You're still focusing on somebody from your past here with the lovers. I feel like you were trying to maybe, like, end something here with a person, but there's just too much love here for this person, okay? I feel like that's why you didn't really come in with some kind of steady offer because there was something still kind of going on but you wanted to end it here and you felt defeated because of a person it could have been a soulmate connection like you were invested into here okay we have our love is like a fairy tale okay so the person you're currently dealing with you feel like this person is like you're ha happily ever after that's why you just can't end this person okay but i feel like you guys need to have faster movement or new changes in this connection though let's see you guys could be dealing with Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Taurus and Capricorn, as well as Scorpio on the bottom. Okay, so you guys can be dealing with any of these signs here currently. Now let's go ahead and do your guys' future when it comes to love. But I feel like there is somebody kind of like withholding their feelings, okay? Alright, what's going on in the future with Scorpio? So we have emotional withdrawal, like the Eight of Cups here. So there is some kind of withdrawal about something here. Okay, you feel like you're walked away from something. We have marriage, okay. So you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. So maybe you walked away from a marriage or you have to walk away from somebody that is married or walking away from somebody because you want to marry somebody else or be more involved with somebody else. Alright, communication is key, new moon and Gemini. Okay? So there is going to be some communication. Let's see what else is going on in the near future. Separation. Yeah, like I said, I feel like you're walking away from something and you guys are talking about walking away. Alright, keep an open mind as well. You have to be hopeful.
Okay, we have Six of Cups, Queen of Wands, Three of Wands reversed. Okay, so I do feel like this was a person from um, your past that you have a lot of feelings for. There's a lot of attraction for this person. You guys are very drawn to each other. But somebody's not really sure if they want to continue this here, okay? Or they're not really knowing whether or not to, like, wait around and wait for things to get better. Okay, but there is, like, a lot of love here. It could be family as well. Why is the Six of Cups here for Scorpio in the near future? All right, Six of Swords reverse. You need to... You're telling yourself to walk away, but you just can't. You can't walk away from this connection. The Nine of Pentacles, but you also want to remain single. Okay, it's like you want to be single and have your independence, but you also can't walk away from this person either. Okay, Queen of Wands. I feel like this person is very attracted to you, or there's a lot of attraction. Page of Swords reversed. You could be always keeping tabs on this person or talking to this person. Also, the King of Wands reversed. You feel kind of defeated towards this person because maybe you feel like they don't want you. Okay, because they're very attractive. They have other people. You guys could be like lacking in communication with them as well. Three of Wands reverse. I have the Seven of Swords reverse. I feel like you're not scared to be yourself around this person. You guys never really maybe argue that much. The Ace of Swords reverse, but maybe you guys don't really defend yourself because you don't want to say like truth. Okay, there's kind of like hidden truth with this person. Okay, or this person never is really honest about how they feel, or you're never really honest with each other. Okay. Let's go ahead and see some cards for the near future for Scorpio. I kept my true feelings for you a secret. Okay, so this person maybe kept how they felt hidden. And that could have been the Ace of Swords reverse. They could have not told you truthfully how they felt. Okay. Let's see what signs you guys could be dealing with in the future here. Cancer. Scorpio. A lot of water. Aquarius, and then we have Taurus on the bottom. Okay, guys, so it could be any of these signs here. Just take what resonates. But I feel like this person is somebody you have a lot of attraction for, but you could have been in separation with this person. All right, let's get ready to do Pisces. Okay, Pisces. Okay. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on with you guys. What word is import of importance to Pisces for the past, present, and future? Oh, we got two. Let me reshuffle. What word is an importance? Forgive. Okay? So I unconditionally forgive myself and all others in my life. And I think Leo had that card, too. So definitely could we deal with a Leo. Okay? So there's a lot of forgiveness. What's going on in the past with Pisces and love shadow okay a lot of shadow work here it's also kind of like the I think like the lovers card there's a lot of shadow work that needs to be done or that was done here okay got too many cards Let's try and get one to come out no, we got flowers. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Be generous, success, and emotional fulfillment are yours. But there's a lot of shadow work that needed to be done. Okay, but you had to be generous. Okay, because you are gonna have a, a, a lot of emotional success. All right, confidence is your key to success, and that it's the new moon in Leo. And I said like you guys could be dealing with a Leo, or it could have been because I had that card for Leo as well to forgive. I also got true love and then worth waiting for, okay? So there was a lot of true love here with this person. It was maybe somebody you were waiting for in the past. I feel very, like, intuitive today. I don't know why. Like, I just feel like I'm drawn to, like, know people's lives or situations. Okay. Let's see. In the past, you have the Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Swords reversed, Nine of Pentacles reversed. Okay, I feel like there's a sense of you, like, letting go of any kind of hurt that, um, any kind of pain that hurt you. I feel like you're, like, moved on from that. And you're not wanting to be single, though. Okay, you're wanting a new opportunity, something stable. Ace of Pentacles. Why is that here for Pisces in the past with love? I feel like you want something new. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. You want somebody to give you this balance and this happiness, this success. 
okay, with the Ace of Wands reverse. I feel like you guys haven't started that yet, though, but you're kind of been wanting this. You've been, like, working towards this. Ten of Swords reverse. Okay, Queen of Swords reverse. You could have been very mad at somebody from your past because they hurt you, but you're moving on, but you're still kind of mad in a situation. <coughs> Three of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like the situation, you weren't, like, working with this person anymore. You were kind of... Uh -uh -uh. Like, mad at this person. It could have been the same person. Like, you wanted them to offer you something, and it just hasn't happened, so it made you kind of mad. Okay, with the Nine of Pentacles reverse, I definitely see, like, you don't want to be single anymore. Okay? Because I got the Justice. You want balance here in your life. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you want this new opportunity, something stable when it comes to love. You want things to be balanced and happy for you. You want success. Which, I mean, who doesn't, right? Let's get one more shuffle, and I'll pick the top one. Okay, so I can't get over you. So this person that you're dealing with, like in the past, they can't get over you. Maybe they wanted to offer you something, but it hasn't happened yet. Let's see who you could have been dealing with in the past, Pisces. Okay, so we have Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and other Pisces, and Scorpio on the bottom. Okay? So that, that could have been their sign here go ahead and see what's currently going on here in the current moment in love. Got so many cards, but it's getting to the point where it's hard to grab all of them. Alright, what's currently going on with Pisces? Okay, new beginnings. Alright, so it's like the fool here. You got new beginnings approaching. Alright, as well, this is looking good. We have death. Okay, so a time of transition and transformation. You got new things happening currently for you. World, be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. I definitely feel like you have new things coming your way in regards to love. Okay, Pisces? I feel really, like, strongly here about that. Yeah, emotions are running high, but you're very emotional about maybe a new beginning, okay, or it's not going the direction you want it to. We have wedding, okay, and engagement. So you definitely could be getting engaged and getting married soon, okay? Because I do see new beginnings for you. Could be talking about engagement, could be talking about marriage, all right? But I feel like you're going through this new cycle, this new beginning. Wow, you guys. Cancer had a good reading, too. I don't, Scorpius was okay, but I think you and Cancer are the ones really like, making out the bandit. Okay, four of pentacles reverse, the star, seven of wands reverse. Okay, so I feel like you're letting go of something here, okay? Um, I feel like you're letting go of being defensive because you're hoping for better things. I feel like you're being more positive in this situation, okay? I feel like you're letting go of being defensive, being guarded, not being able to trust here. Why is the four of pentacles in reverse for Pisces currently? All right, the moon reverse, so you're... Letting go of any secrets that you've kept from somebody. You're wanting that exposed, okay? And the King of Wands reverse. So you want this person to know how you feel about them, okay? I feel like maybe you've kept this back. You've been holding this in too long, and now you're finally expressing, like, the truth, okay? But I feel like you're kind of scared because you don't know how this person's going to react, okay? Could be with a fire sign. The star, let's see. Okay, we have the hangman, so you're kind of stuck in your energy, but you're still, you feel like something's kind of stuck, okay, but you're feeling hopeful about a situation, Knight of Swords Reverse, could have been not much communication with this person, that's why you're kind of not sure. Seven of Wands Reverse, though, so I do feel like you are letting down your guard here with the Two of Wands Reverse, because you've made a decision, but the Ten of Pentacles Reverse, something still hasn't really been stable here. Okay, I feel like there's something that's very stagnant in this energy, like you're hoping for things to get better. Maybe you've exposed your truth to this person, but you feel like this person's maybe not as passionate about the connection anymore. Okay, let's see. So we have, I want to be, okay, I want to open up to you. I trust that you have good intentions. Okay, so like you or this person feels like there's good intentions, they want to open up. And I think that's you, I feel like you are opening up to this person, but this person's not really saying much, okay? Or offering you anything right now. Let's see what signs you could be currently dealing with. Okay, we got Virgo, 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then we got Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces on the bottom. Okay, guys, so it could be any of these signs here. Let's see what's going on in the near future with you and whoever you're dealing with. But I feel like there could be, like, engagement or wedding coming your way. So, wow. Okay, what's, what's going on in the near future in regards to love for Pisces? Man. Those ones have gone out. Alright, I'll just pick one then. Alright, so financial material changes, number five. So you could be kind of going through some financial stuff. Okay, some stuff going on in your life that's changing. We got plain. Okay, so a journey is indicated physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. So there's a lot of changes happening, okay? And it could be in your financial life as well. Um, also in like your um, love life, I see too. Okay, you could be traveling with somebody. Okay, we have half faith in your dreams. Okay, we have pay attention to the red flags and free yourself. Okay, so I feel like there was a sense where you feel like you have to free yourself. Maybe you got to move away from somebody with the playing card here. Have faith, okay, that maybe this is just not working out, okay? I feel like there's a sense that you need to get away from somebody. Pay attention to the red flags free yourself and you have the plane i feel like if you don't need to move from somebody you just need to like get away from them and not put your attention gravitated towards them anymore okay let's see what's going on in the near future okay you got the ten of cups the chariots page of swords okay so there is movement here and there could be fi uh, fulfillment here of happiness and love okay um someone's finally coming towards you and talking about how they feel there's going to be more um as well as the chariots, maybe that's why we got the playing card. This going to be faster movement, okay? So, could be something good. But you have to free yourself of any kind of red flags or anything that um, seems kind of toxic. Alright, in order for this to work. Why is the Ten of Cups here for Pisces in the future? Knight of Swords, it's going to be quick, impulsive communication. And the Two of Wands, so there's going to have to be a decision to make, okay? Or a choice to make. The chariot, so there isn't quick movement, or it's going to be quicker. Got the emperor, so Aries here, they're going to take charge and move quickly on this. Okay, king of pentacles reverse. They could feel like there's not, they don't really have much to offer you right now, but I feel like they're wanting to take charge in the relationship. And like the love aspect, they want to take charge. They might not have much to offer you right now, but I feel like they're wanting to move quickly. Alright, the page of swords, we have the empress. And the judgment reverse. They feel like they need to hurry up and take care of you because they feel like time's running out in this connection. They feel like they're going to lose this person if they don't speak up how they feel. Okay, I feel like they know that you are the empress. You're very nurturing and caring and loving. You could be a mother as well. And they get the emperor and the empress. That's two good cards together. It means it's like a power couple. Okay, I feel like they know that time's running out. They're going to lose you if they don't, you know, hurry up and get their crap together is what I see. Okay, the cards that came out, we have quite a bit. I'm afraid I'm going to lose you. That's what I said. I said they're going to lose you. I don't even know that card was going to come out. So definitely they feel like they're going to lose you. I'm only going to break your heart. Okay, and then I didn't love you because I didn't even know how to love myself. And it, it was just a booty call. But that could have started off as that's what it was when you met this person. Okay, but now in the future, I feel like they know they're going to lose you. If they don't get their acts right. Let's see what sign you guys could be dealing with here in the near future. We got Leo, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That could be their moon signs. So their moon could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo. We got um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, as well as Pisces on the bottom. But their moon sign could be any of these signs here, okay? So, hope you guys enjoy the reading. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Comment down below. Um, if you guys want me to continue doing these readings, just let me know down below. I like doing these. And I'll, maybe I'll start doing it where I split them by elements. That way it's easier and I can be more in depth with the video. So I hope you all have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching. <coughs>